Hello everyone and welcome to another video from GameStorm. I'm Adi and today I will be showing you how to set up a Dazzle DVC-170 Platinum capture card and how to capture your video games with it. Uh, Chris is here and he will be demonstrating on how to do this. Here is the Dazzle right here. It has a USB connector to go into your computer or laptop or Mac I guess if you have one. Um, the connections on it are S-Video, the left and right audio, and the yellow video slot, which is a composite. The Dazzle does not record HD because it is a composite slash S-Video input. Because of this, it only records up to 480p. All you have to do is plug the USB port into your computer, as shown. Then you will also need splitters. These splitters will allow you to watch your game on your TV because while recording on the computer, it has a tendency to lag. So in order to play your games fluently, you will need these splitters. Plug these splitters into each different port of the composites, if you're using composites, which we will be doing today. Um, S-Video does have better quality, but I do not have a S-Video for my GameCube. Alright, and you will also need the composite cables from your gaming system. Here's the GameCube composite cable. Just plug it into your GameCube and then take the colored end and plug it in to the same ports as shown on the Dazzle. Plug one end into the splitter. And then you also need a double composite cable with both ends. And this is so you can see it on your TV. And what you will do is take one end and plug it into your composite input onto your TV. Then take the other end and put it in the same colored area as your GameCube or composite cable that you're using. And if you're wondering, the reason I'm using the GameCube is because it is natively a 480p console. So my videos will look correct. Here we go, we will put in Super Smash Bros. Melee, a great game for the GameCube, if not the best. Turn on the console, and as you can see, it turns on to the TV, and you can see it perfectly. Now Chris here is going to move it around a little bit so you can see that it is working, and that the picture has not been distorted in any way. And there you have it. It is as simple as that. This is part one of the tutorial. The second part, I will show you how to actually record it onto your PC and also edit it to make it look good on YouTube. Continue to part two to see the rest of this, and we'll see you next time on GameStorm.